All right, y'all, we're back at the Goodwill today. Starting off strong, I loved this giant canister. It was only $7.99. I think that's a great price for how large it was. I also really liked this little set for $4.99. I think those are called cruet sets. I could be wrong. Also, I've been seeing these little turkey figurines everywhere I go. I feel like every time I go to a thrift store, I have seen one, and I'm not even sure what they are. Um, this is another really great piece that I was so happy to find. It was $2.99, and I've been hunting for one exactly like this for a few months now. So I absolutely brought that home. I'm going to share with you all my haul at the end and then show you how I've styled the things in my home. These little cigar boxes, I want to tell you, don't skip those or pass them up because they look so good in vignettes, whether you style them open with little things inside or just use them as risers in your vignettes and they add really good texture and color with the woods and stuff. Watching this back now, I'm not sure why I didn't bring home this box. I love toile. I love black toile. I think it's so cute. It was only $3.99. Maybe I didn't like the bows. I can't really remember. I did, however, love this white wicker, probably like a vanity stool. Um, I don't use white wicker things, but if I had like a screened in sun porch, that's kind of how I envision it being styled. these plates were kind of pretty a little too bright for me with that peachy pink in there um, but for some reason I can't stop like wanting to buy everything with birds on it I think it's because of antique transferware uh, but I've been really drawn to like vintage things with birds on it lately Here's a cool copper teapot that someone painted a kind of like 90s shabby chic design on. I mean, they did a really good job. It reminds me of the stuff that my grandmother or aunt would have had in their house when I was little. Also, I've never seen a silver plate cake stand like this, but I didn't like the roses that was around the edge right here. I also didn't like that it was $15, so I left that there. I'm still on the hunt for a hopefully vintage kind of like pedestal or plant stand similar to this but I want a older one with that's round and a darker wood that one's a little too farmhouse with the square lines and stuff So I did bring home this adorable blue and white cup and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen 
it shattered. It like rolled off the table in the sack when I brought it home. So that was pretty sad because it was $3.99 too. That's not like, you know, super cheap for a little cup like that. Also, the sham is so beautiful. I wish there was a second one. I probably would have brought them home and put it in the guest room. Okay, hear me out. I wasn't thinking about this at the time, but I should have brought this home for $8.99, sanded it all down, stained it dark, and added a wood applique to the top because I've been wanting to get a fireplace screen that's like an older wood or something pretty like that. So I don't know why I didn't take advantage of that one being $9. I could have just DIY'd it myself. All right, here's a look at my haul and how I've styled everything. I brought home the giant glass canister. I feel like you can't tell how big it really is on camera, but I've been wanting something like this to store Epsom salt in here on the side of the bathroom tub downstairs where I take baths. Um, so it works perfectly for that. I put a little silver baby cup in there for a scoop. And then I brought home the other glass canister that you saw and I went ahead and just printed off this um, antique lit looking label from Pinterest. I'll link it down below in case you'd like to use it as well. And I just distressed it, added a matching blue ribbon to the lid, and then I put some soaps inside there. And I just thought that was really pretty and it's kind of like serene in here now. I'm trying to make it look the way I want without, you know, not, I can't change anything since we rent. So I also wanted to show you the painting that I have hanging above the wall here. You may remember this from a Goodwill bins video. I found this gorgeous antique oil painting. And as you can see, the frame is um, pretty messed up, but it's so pretty. And I love being able to see that just sitting in the bathtub and pretending that I'm here. And I told y'all I brought home this wooden spoon rack holder thing. I think it's so pretty. Here's how I've styled it on a little small wall space in the kitchen. That's going to wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to y'all in my next one. Bye.